this red stuff scare you? And this fighting for a living scares you. We got to make up our minds. My wife made up mine last week. If you want the truth. Plain as the nose on Saul Feinberg's face. <laughs> we need a strike. There's us coming home. Every night. Eight, ten hours on the cab. God, the wife says. Eighty cents ain't money. Don't buy beans almost. You're working for the company. She says to me, Joe, you ain't working for me and the family no more. She says to me, if you don't start, here's all the furniture. Honey. They took it away. No installments when? paid. Three o'clock. They can't do that. Can't? They did it. Why, the Palookas, we, we paid three quarters. The man said read the contract. We must have signed a phone. It was a regular contract, and you signed it. Take it back. Don't be so sour. Edna. I'll do it in the movies, Joe. We'll pay Clark Gable big money for it. This is a hell of a house to come home to. Take my word. Take my word. Must you start that stuff again? Then maybe you'd like to talk about books. I'd like to slap you in the mouth. No, you won't. Jeez, Edna, can you get the store sometime? Oh, yeah, but just look at me. I'm laughing all over. Don't insult me. Can I help it if times are bad? What the hell do you want me to do? Jump up, I'll bring you something. Help. I just put the kids to bed so they don't know they missed a meal. If I don't have any shoes sold by tomorrow, she can't go to school. In the meantime, you let her sleep. Honey, I rode the wheels off the chariot today. I cruised around five hours without a call. It's conditions. Sell it to the a and I booked 220 in the park. A lady with a dog was lit. She gave me a quarter tip by mistake. If you'd only listen to me. We're rolling in wealth. Yeah? How much? I make coffee and soap and a beer. A buck four. A buck four. Second month's rent is due tomorrow. Don't look at me that way. I'm that. looking through you, not at you. Everything was going to be so ducky. <laughs> a cottage by the waterfall, roses and hickety. You're a four-star bust. If you think I'm standing for it much longer, you're crazy as a bedbug. I'd get another job if I could. There's no work. You know it. But I only know that we're at the bottom of the ocean. What can I do? Oh, who's the man of the family? You or me? That's no answer. Get down the brass tacks. Christ, give me a break. Do a coffee cake and java all day? I'm hungry too, uh, babe. I work my well, fingers to the bone. Not now. Tell me what to do. I'm not God. Jesus, I wish I was a kid again and I didn't have to think about the next but minute. You're not a kid, and you do have to think about the next minute. You've got two blondie kids sleeping in the next room, and they need food and clothes. And I'm not mentioning anything else. But we are stalled like a flivver in the snow. For five years, Joe, I've laid awake at night listening to my heart pound. For God's sake, do something. Get wise. Maybe get your buddies together. Maybe go on strike for better money. Papa did it during the war, and they won out. I'm, I'm turning into a sour old man. Strikes don't work. Who told you that? Besides, that means not a nickel a week while we're out. Then when it's over, they don't take you back. Sure, suppose they don't. What's to lose? Well, we're averaging six, seven dollars a week now. That just pays for the rent. That is something. you down to three or four a week before you know it, and then you'll say that's something, too. There's too many cabs on the street. That's a whole damn trouble. Sit, let the company worry about that, you big fool. If their cabs didn't make a profit, they'd take them off the street. Oh, maybe you think you're in business just to pay Joe Mitchell's rent. You don't know what you're 
since we got married? Maybe. If I thought. <sighs> you see, Mudge, you can boyfriend if you think I won't do this, you can't see straight. Stop talking bull. This isn't five years ago, Joe. You mean you leave me and the kids? I leave you like a shot! No! Yes! She won't. No. Get the hell out of here. Go pick up that bullfrog on the corner and stop at some cushy hotel downtown. He's probably been coming here every morning and laying you while I hack my guts out. Crawling up. like a worm. You'll be crawling in a minute. Oh, you don't even scare me that much. This is what I slave for. Tell it to your boss. He don't give a damn for you or me. That's what I say. Don't change the subject. This Costello, like he was saying the other day. 
How about this, Haskai? 